Fibre One, it's Mike here. So today I have two Happy Mail shares for you, one very, very quick one and one longer one. Um, the first one I want to show you um, is from another anonymous donator, another anonymous benefactor. Um, so what I will do, as I usually do with these Happy Mail videos now, is I will keep this camera rolling and then switch over to my overhead so you can see my reactions to it. So we'll switch over now, okay. So this is the first one. Now the reason I'm putting this one in just as a quickie, as you can see, it's not a very big one. Um, but again, as I said, it's from an, an, an anonymous benefactor. The only clue to their identity comes from the address. There's no name in here at all. And all I have, is the name Timberbrook and a zip code which is under here. Now I have been able to kind of track it down to somewhere outside St. Louis, Missouri. So if you live on Timberbrook Drive, just outside St. Louis in Missouri, and you've sent me some happy mail, thank you so much. So I have opened it just to see if there was a clue as to who it was from inside, but there is nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, and this is what the little Happy Mail contained. So we have some napkins. Obviously somebody um, knew about my little collaboration with Aaron and Paul. Cute little napkin, one with some dinosaurs on. This is really, really cute. Actually, I can think of some a cute, a few things to do with that one. And some lovely, look at that doggy. I love the colors of this actually. It's almost like a dilutions background on a on a napkin. Oh, there's another one there as well. So yes, almost a focal point on its own. An animal print one, and then we have one with some putty cats, which is very, very similar to the in fact it's probably from the same set when you look at them, because the patterns are very, very similar. Yeah, they are very, very similar. So very again, very, very cute. And there's some tissue paper, some beautiful tissue paper, very kind of old um, style print, adverts, very nice as a background, lovely lovely, thank you very much. And we have some music paper, it's beautiful, again I'm going to have to have a sniff, oh yeah. Old paper, excellent. Now these are, look like, yeah, mostly religious ones. So they could be hymns, they could be carols. Blessed be the tie. Oh, the, the tie that binds, okay. In Christ there is no east or west. So a great collection of religious kind of themed uh, music paper. Perfect. And that, actually, they look about, let's see what we got, about six by eight. So they'll be great for the small journals. Absolutely superb. So love those, love, 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 love them. Love the napkins, love the tissue, love the music sheets. Absolutely stunning. So if you are living on Timberbook Drive, just outside St. Louis in Missouri, thank you so much for that happy mail. And I'm sorry it's taken such a long time to me to get around. Um, to doing that one because, like I said, it was anonymous and I was hoping that somebody would come forward with that happy mail. So, the next one, which is a little bit bigger, <clears throat> a tad. Now, this hasn't come as far as America this time. This one is actually from Germany, from Berlin, to be precise. And this is from uh, Angie... Now, I hope I'm going to pronounce this right. Yerikov, hopefully, or Jericho. One of the two. I'm hoping I've not butchered your name too much, Angie. So, I, as you can see, I haven't even opened this one yet. So it's going to be a complete and utter surprise as to what's inside it. Uh, I wanted to wait um, to actually open this one on camera to make sure the cameras are still rolling. There we go, we are now open. So I'll move that out of the way and then Oh, crumbs. Okay, that, that's Angie's address, so I'm just hiding that to make sure I've got everything out of the envelope. Yep, everything's out. And there is a little note. 
so you are cool. Thank you. <laughs> it's been called cool for years. Oh, look at that. Beautiful colours. And I'll just have a quick read just in case there's a little private message in there. So just bear with me two seconds. Just talk amongst yourself for a sec while I read this. Uh <laughs> yes. Okay, well there's nothing in there which is too private. So I hopefully um I'll read it to you. It says, Hope you're enjoying this happy mail. I just started out journaling and mixed media very recently, but I really love it. And in that short amount of time, I have learned so much from your YouTube tutorials. Thank you so much. Um, I used to not like arts and crafts because I can't really draw or paint and my perfectionism would, would get the better of me. Yeah, we're all there. We've all been there and done that one. But you, dear sir, you are the Bob Ross of crafting. Hair's not quite so big. Probably about the same age now as when he first started. Um, now I just go for it. Enjoy the process and embrace the outcome. I owe you for this and so I am happy to share my humble stash with you, Angie. Um, Angie, um, I'm very touched. I'm very, very touched. And I'm so proud of the fact that you felt inspired enough to pick up a paintbrush and actually done some art journaling or even some art on its own um, because of my videos. I create for me. I've said this many, many times in my videos. I always create for me, but I like to share what I do in the hopes that somebody else will also get inspired and maybe learn a, something from the videos, from my triumphs, from my mistakes, um, and also, you know, feel inspired to get out there and actually do something for themselves. So the fact that you've done that um, really means the world to me. Thank you so much. Um, and you know, I don't really expect people to send me um, most of their stash because there, there's tons and tons and tons of stuff in here. So let's get started on this one. So first bag looks like ephemera and bits. So let's just move that out of the way to start off with. I'll try not to get everything all over the place. There's also, what's this? <gasps> That's not getting used in mixed media. Cut that. Like an Egyptian style. I'm sorry, no, that's going in my steampunk costume. That is going to get used for one of my steampunk costumes. In fact, that goes perfectly with this waistcoat, this vest. I'm sorry, but pfft, Angie, thank you. That's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Just look, 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 look. Gorgeous. I'm absolutely lost for words on that one, Angie. Googly eyes. Yay, yeah, we all love googly eyes. A nice lace snowflake. Oh, that's beautiful. That'd look nice on my Christmas tree. Cool. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these cards. What we got here? Okay, so playing cards. Excellent. I've recently been looking at... Um, some tarot cards. Um, try and get hold of a pack of tarot cards. I did a, an art journal page a while ago with um, our tarot cards on there and I can't find the, the digital files of the old cards so I may have to purchase some new ones or some very old antique ones that I can use. Um, we'll just have to say, look at these beautiful owls. They're foam on felt and their little wooden printed ones. How cute are they? Oh, gorgeous. Uh, beautiful. Um, oh, brain dead. It's Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau. Um, and I can remember the artist's name, but it's just disappeared off the top of my tongue. Beautiful butterfly and mica. Looks like it's been done. Yep. Beautiful. And we have some great bits of ephemera. Looks like cut from magazines. Cool. Very colourful. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Printed in Germany. That's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's got it's even embossed. Can you see the emboss on it? Yeah, look at that. That's cool. 
I like that. I like that a lot. Oh! Lenticular 3D bookmark with what looks like Van Gogh's sunflowers and star and night in the background. Oh, that's really... I hope the camera can pick that up properly. Look at that. You can almost drop into there. That's so deep. That's cool. Put that to one side. Love that. And a postcard. Ich bin er so der Spirit. Oh, well, obviously, I'll have to do a, do a, a translation on that one and find out what it means. Probably some joke about getting drunk. Oh, I've always been a spiritual type. <laughs> probably. Ich bin. I've always been the spiritual type. Yes, that's probably what it means. There you go. Look, German translation on the fly without using any technology whatsoever. Utopia 1516. Looks like a fly for some kind of, yeah, Flanders state of the art, from a, a museum or something. And, oh, David Bowie, look. Ziggy. Oh, God bless him. God rest his soul. Beautiful stuff. Lovely, lovely, lovely bits and pieces in there. Okay, so let's pop that all together so I'm not going to mix it up. And get that in there. That's tickled me, that Bob Ross of art journaling. <laughs> Funny. Okay, what's in here? Ah, popsicle sticks. Multicolored popsicle sticks. Halloween colours. Purples, oranges, and greens. Excellent. I may put those in my stash for Halloween next year. And then we have some non stick rubberized mat. Which is also great for this is the stuff you stop from me because top of carpets from moving. Um, or your rugs from moving on leaven or wooden flooring or tile floors of course. But it's also great for um, texture and for mat making. Cool. Absolutely brilliant. And yeah, love the smell. And what we've got in here? Napkins. Lots of beautiful florally napkins. Gorgeous. Narcissus, daffodil, feathers, beautiful. More, oh, look at that. Gorgeous colour. I don't know whether the camera's picking that up, but it is a cream on that beautiful kind of wine, burgundy ish colour. Beautiful mandala kind of flowers and lavender. Excellent stuff. I'm getting such a huge collection now of napkins. I could open a shop. It's cool. Thank you. Because I love me my napkins. Right, let's put those to one side. Now, make sure that I don't... I'm going to label these up as to who they've come from, so I know exactly who to thank when I use them in a project. Okay, so what we've got here. Oh, look. Cute. Right. So we have some what look like jelly prints. It's almost coral, isn't it? Like undersea coral. That's cool. I like the effect on that one. Lovely, lovely. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. do you know, you could just frame that as it is. I don't know whether I want to use that. Poems illustrated by Sandy Nightingale. That's lovely. You could cut around there, couldn't you? And use the rest of it in a journal. Love that, but look at that. Beautiful tiger tiger. Burning bright. I've probably misquoted. Don't tell me if I have. Don't want anybody knowing that I'm ignorant. Underground map, Berlin. We usually get British tube maps, but this is a fantastic little train map for Berlin. Cool. Love that, absolutely love it. And I'm also loving him, look how cute. So this is, what have you taken off here, Angie? Look <laughs> at that, isn't he lovely? Cool, love images for collage. Brill, beautiful stuff, great background. I think that's probably going to end up in a frame. I may never ever probably use that. I love that. That is absolutely stunning. Love it. 
gorgeous. Right, I'm going to pop it back in the plastic to keep it safe. But that more than likely will end up on a frame on my wall because I loved it so much. I may take a scan of it to use in the actual journal, but the actual original one that you've sent me will probably end up getting framed because I loved it that much. Okay, so final pocket. I hope you've left yourself some stuff to play with. Okay, we've got... <laughs> yeah, I love that. Be brave, be happy. <laughs> the, the hairy chest look wearing the earrings. There used to be a programme here in the UK which was um, based on like European culture called Eurotrash. And there was a couple, a man and a woman, that used to wear exactly the same clothes and go out. I'm um, just wondering if that's basically the same thing. Yeah, be different and you'll make a difference. Keep it up. I love it. Eva and Adele. It is them. Yes, it is them. It's the same two characters. Ah, there you go, you see. I'm so up on my Euro culture. It's unbelievable. There you go. Eva and Adele, that was the one. So what we've got in here. Some nice kind of mulberry paper with some beautiful patterned papers, kind of mid-century design patterns. Love those. Love, 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 love. Love me some mid-century design. Cool. Almost the atomic kind of, oh, look at that. I'm jumping ahead of myself, look, with so much gorgeous colour. Big variety and gorgeous colour. Look at these. Just look at how reflective and beautiful this is. This must be wrapping paper, this. Gift wrap, but stunning gift wrap. Look, oh gracious, look at all this. Now I'm not going to open this up, but this one feels like it must be at least a mile wide. Look at how big that is. That is yowge and upside down. There we go. <gasps> Look! Beautiful, beautiful background paper. Gorgeous. Love the colours as well. That deep red with the orange goes really, really well. Beautiful, beautiful. And look at this one. It's almost medieval. Oh, look, 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 look. Look at that. Again. Which way up? That way. That's almost like a fleur de lis, isn't it? A fleur de lis. Beautiful. Look at those. Gorgeous papers. Absolutely gorgeous papers. And finally, we have some hollow. Oh, not finally. Some coloured in, kind of nouveau style. Have you coloured these in, Ange? Yes, looks like you have. Excellent stuff. Nice to cut into strips and use. And then we have some holographic card. Very, very wowie. Perfect for Christmas projects, he says. Possibly. Punch out some circles and use those in a Christmas project. Excellent. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Love those papers. They are something special. Absolutely delicious. So Angie, thank you very, very much for that happy meal. And again, once again, thank you to the person who lives on Timberbrook Drive, just outside St. Louis. Beautiful happy meal. Thank you so much. And I will <coughs> definitely put that to good use. There's just so much and so many ideas spinning in my head now, as you can probably tell. Okay, that's all from me for today. Um, I will be back again on Thursday with an art journal project. And I will see you all then then. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share the video with all your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And thank you to all of my beautiful angels who have made angel donations um, since the start of November. I'm almost at the point now where I'm fully funded for my seven days of Christmas. Thank you. That's brilliant. Still got a little bit way to go yet. Um, but hopefully that will come. So thank you so much. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.